Hello lovelies. Right now I have a couple of um, questions that I'd like to ask regarding Prince Harry. And um, the first question that I'd like to ask before doing a general reading on him personally. The first uh, question that I'd like to ask is, is he problematic and envious? Just like Meghan Markle. Um, is he problematic and envious? Um, I'll pull the cards and I'll tell you what the... Um, what the question is really about. So basically, there's two ways to, to go about this. Um, the first one is to... Um, um, so, in narcissists, there are uh, overt narcissists and covert narcissists. Some, very often, um, and, and I'm speaking here in general, okay, so I'm not saying this is what's happening in, um, in Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's lives, but um, usually narcissists target um, people with a borderline personality disorder or BPD. Because these people are um, sensitive. Um, of course, they they target mostly people who are they who have more than them, so they can feed off of that. But uh, they 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 use the sensitivity of people with uh, BPD um, as a um, um, as an ammunition for for fight. Um, for the future, but in general, they use the people uh, and build a, um, a a fairy tale of promises and fairy tale of life that uh, uh, the person with BPD, who who's often also an idealist, is just holding on to you know hoping that things will be. Um, as as promised, and they turn out to not be as promised. Um, so um, there's two two ways. So the first one uh, for for narcissists is they take a an innocent soul or a person with uh, with BPD, and they connect to them and ruin the the person's life. And then when they're done, they discard them and they move on to the next victim. The second option is to uh, match up with a uh, covert narcissist. What that means is there's overt narcissists called usually the sun and overt narcissist which is the, the moon. The covert narcissist is also a narcissist but they are a little bit more subtle. They are going to uh, bring you down with their words by criticizing you a lot. Uh, they're not going to, uh, um, uh, let's say, pull out uh, machinations or or schemes or intrigues like a, like an overt narcissist would. But uh, they will, you know, make your life miserable by um, bringing you down every time that you that you accomplish something. So. Uh, there's really, again, two ways in which Prince Harry uh, is participating in this relationship with Meghan Markle. The first one is actively being like, a, again, a covert, some type of covert narcissist where he wants what his um, um, brother gets as a birthright and uh, he has to um, fight for it and he's not a birth, birthright for him. Um, the cards here say that he is jealous and problematic, jealous of his brother and problematic. So he's not the victim. He is not that innocent, um, innocent uh, soul who's out there and being, you know, attacked by the big, uh, big bad wolf of uh, narcissism, uh, and uh, now needs to be saved. So that that's not what what the cards say. They say that he's envious and jealous and it doesn't look good on anyone. But anyway, that's what the cards say. 
thank you for watching and i have a couple more questions about prince harry and then i'll do a general reading so talk to you in the next video bye